Are your eyelids heavy? And do you rub your eyes frequently because they feel itchy? Maybe the air is dry and you just need some over-the-counter eye drops. But what if the discomfort persists even after you apply them? This could be a sign of dry eyes, a condition that affects almost 2 million people in our population. I'm Associate Professor Louis Tong and I study dry eye and how best to treat it. There are two categories of dry eye. The first category is caused by the external environment and this could be a dusty environment, long hours in a computer or dry air in the office. This category is actually less severe and can be soothed by eye drops or even holistic measures such as improving the sleep, physical exercise and even alternative medicine. The second category is more severe and due to the excessive damage to the surface barrier of the eye. Abnormal components of the tears are not sufficient to support the health of the surface. Imagine these toys are the ocular surface barrier that protects the eye. The barrier is made of nature's tools. Nature provides a moving layer of fluid for lubrication, wound healing, prevention of inflammation and defence against microorganisms. In dry eye, this barrier is damaged. Dry spots on the surface of the eye can stimulate very sensitive nerve endings and cause discomfort. Damage to the eye surface also causes the release of inflammatory substances which may further induce redness and discomfort. Unless we restore the smooth surface of the eye which transmits light, visual problems may arise. What happens if the ocular surface barrier is damaged and cannot be repaired with artificial tear eye drops? Scientists are investigating which components of tears are best to protect the eye. These are the most reliable tools we have as they are designed by nature. But there is so much we still have to learn. My team conducted clinical trials with dry eye patients using their blood, or rather, the colourless fluid component of the blood called plasma as eye drops. Plasma's composition is not exactly identical to tears, but it contains many proteins present. This makes it more nourishing to the eye surface compared to artificial tears. How do we make these plasma tears? We first screen our patients to make sure they are eligible for the plasma treatment. Plasma can then be extracted from blood through a painless procedure by blood professionals. The plasma is processed in a machine like this to form self-sealing segments and given to patients to be stored and used when needed. Our clinical trials showed that this plasma treatment is effective in repairing damage to the eye surface where conventional eye drops fail. After six weeks of treatment, our patient's quality of life improved and they required eye drops less frequently each day. We are continuing the studies to examine the long-term effects of the treatment. Our body has many powerful tools to heal itself. My team hopes to find the right one to fight this condition.